Ever wondered if a place could hold the power to bewitch, beguile, and bewilder you all at once? Welcome to Transylvania. Nestled in the heart of Romania, Transylvania is a land that promises mystery, enchantment, and a journey into the unknown. Its name alone is enough to conjure images of mist-covered mountains, ancient castles, and mythical creatures that roam the night. Yet, there's so much more to this region than its chilling folklore. Transylvania, set against the backdrop of the Carpathian Mountains, is a treasure trove of stunning landscapes. From the verdant rolling hills that seem to stretch into infinity, to the dense forests that harbor secrets of the past, Every corner of this region is a testament to nature's grandeur. But it's not just the landscapes that enthrall visitors. It's the palpable sense of history that permeates the air, whispering tales of times gone by. The history of Transylvania is a rich tapestry of events, cultures, and people. It's a land that has seen the rise and fall of empires, the ebb and flow of different civilizations, and the intermingling of diverse traditions. From the ancient Dacians to the Romans, from the Hungarians to the Saxons, each has left an indelible mark on this land, shaping its identity and character. But what truly sets Transylvania apart is its ability to blur the lines between reality and myth. It's a place where historical figures morph into legendary creatures, where fact blends seamlessly with fiction, creating a unique allure that's hard to resist. From the shadowy figure of Vlad the Impaler to the infamous Count Dracula, Transylvania's legends are as captivating as they are eerie. They're tales that have transcended borders, sparking intrigue and fascination across the globe. Yet they're just a fragment of the myriad stories that this land has to tell. A land that has been a silent spectator to centuries of history, Transylvania is a realm where reality intertwines with myth. Digging into the past, Transylvania's tale is incomplete without mentioning Vlad the Impaler. Born in the early 15th century, Vlad III, known as Vlad the Impaler, ruled Wallachia, a region in what is now Romania. His reign was marked by a thirst for power and a penchant for cruelty that earned him a place in the annals of history and in the collective imagination of the world. Vlad was a warrior prince, a fierce defender of his lands against the encroaching Ottoman Empire. But his methods were brutal. Enemies were impaled on large stakes, a gruesome spectacle designed to intimidate and terrify. It's said that he once dined among a forest of his impaled enemies, a testament to his ruthless and grim resolve. His rule was characterized by tumultuous periods of power and imprisonment. He was a man of contrasts, a leader who defended his people, yet showed no mercy to his enemies. His actions and rule were so infamous that they inspired tales and legends, the most famous of which was penned by Irish author Bram Stoker. Stoker, captivated by the tales of Vlad's brutal rule, used him as the basis for his iconic character, Count Dracula. The connection between Vlad the Impaler and Dracula is profound. Both are figures shrouded in darkness, their names synonymous with fear and horror. Yet, it's important to note that while Vlad was a real historical figure, Dracula is a creation of fiction. The two are intertwined, but not one and the same. Vlad's legacy is a complex tapestry of historical fact and folklore. His life, his rule, and his death are steeped in mystery. Even his final resting place remains a topic of debate among historians. But one thing is certain, his story has left an indelible mark on Transylvania. Vlad the Impaler, a name that still echoes through the corridors of Transylvania's history, a name that inspired the creation of literature's most famous vampire. His story, like the land he once ruled, is a captivating blend of history and legend, forever etched in the heart of Transylvania. From the pages of history to the realm of literature, Transylvania's story takes a dark twist. The year is 1897, and a novel penned by an Irish author, Bram Stoker, is about to change the narrative of this Eastern European region forever. Stoker's novel, Dracula, painted a vivid picture of Transylvania, a land of mystery, darkness, and bloodthirsty creatures. Although Stoker never visited Transylvania, his descriptions were so vivid that they continue to shape the perception of the region till this day. The novel's protagonist, Count Dracula, a vampire, lived in a castle perched high in the Carpathian Mountains, a place shrouded in perpetual fog and mystery. And so, the image of Transylvania as the home of the undead was born. 
The impact of Stoker's novel on Transylvania's image has been profound. The region became synonymous with vampires, and interest in the area surged. Transylvania, once known for its rich history and stunning landscapes, was now inextricably linked with the supernatural. The Dracula legend breathed new life into the region's tourism industry. Visitors from across the globe began to flock to Transylvania, seeking a taste of the mystery and gothic allure painted by Stoker. The association with Dracula has been both a boon and a bane for Transylvania. While the novel has undoubtedly boosted tourism, it has also cast a shadow over the region's rich cultural heritage. Yet, Transylvania has embraced its dark legacy. Today, you'll find Dracula-themed tours and attractions dotting the region, paying homage to the enduring legend of the Vampire Count. The influence of one novel, a work of fiction, has permeated every aspect of Transylvania's identity. It's a testament to the power of literature and the enduring fascination of humans with the supernatural. Dracula, a fictional character, cast a long-lasting shadow over the very real land of Transylvania. Shaking off the shadows of the past, let's venture into the vibrant reality of modern-day Transylvania. The Transylvania of today is a land where the old and the new converge in a beautiful harmony. The region's rich history has shaped its culture, but it's not all about the past. Transylvania is very much a place of the present, buzzing with life and energy. Let's start with the festivals. Transylvania hosts a multitude of events throughout the year, each one a celebration of the region's unique heritage and vibrant culture. The Sigisora Medieval Festival, for example, takes place every summer in the heart of the old citadel. It's a time when the streets come alive with medieval reenactments, music and dance, and the air is filled with the aroma of traditional cuisine. Speaking of cuisine, the food in Transylvania is a gastronomic journey in itself. From the hearty shorba de berta, a sour tripe soup, to the sweet kurtoskalax, a chimney cake cooked over an open fire, the local fair is a testament to the region's agrarian roots and the creativity of its people. But Transylvania isn't just about tradition. The region is also a hub of contemporary life and tourism. The city of Cluj-Napoca, known as the Silicon Valley of Eastern Europe, is a bustling metropolis with a thriving tech scene. It's home to numerous startups and tech giants, offering a stark contrast to the rural landscapes that define much of Transylvania. The region's natural beauty is another draw for visitors. The Carpathian Mountains offer breathtaking views and a range of outdoor activities, from hiking and biking in the summer to skiing in the winter. The Turda Salt Mine, with its underground lake and Ferris wheel, is a unique destination that showcases the region's geological wonders. In the heart of Transylvania, the medieval town of Brasov lures travelers with its stunning Gothic architecture and the Black Church, the largest Gothic church in Romania. Transylvania, a blend of ancient legends and modern vibrancy, continues to captivate the hearts of travelers. As our journey through Transylvania draws to a close, the enigma of this unique land persists. It's as if the very air we breathe here is woven with threads of mystery and allure, each strand telling a story of its own. We started our expedition unveiling the enigma of Transylvania, a land that shrouds itself in mystery and intrigue. The tales of its past, the whispers of its lore, there was a palpable sense of curiosity that hung in the air, a riddle waiting to be solved. We then delved into the birth of a legend that has forever marked Transylvania on the world map, Vlad the Impaler, a figure that has sparked countless tales, some of horror, some of awe, but all equally captivating. His story, like the land itself, is a complex tapestry of fact and fiction, a testament to the power of legends. The Dracula connection followed, another captivating chapter in Transylvania's enigmatic tale, a tale that has transcended generations and borders, becoming a global phenomenon. Yet, in its birthplace, it remains an integral part of the local lore, a symbol of the enduring allure of Transylvania's past. And then, we journeyed through the Transylvania of today, a vibrant blend of old and new. It's a place where medieval castles stand proudly against the backdrop of bustling cities, where ancient traditions coexist with modern lifestyles. It's a testament to the region's ability to preserve its past while embracing the future. And now, as we prepare to bid goodbye to this enchanting land, we realize that the enigma of Transylvania is not something that can be fully unraveled. 
It's a delicate balance between the echoes of the past and the hum of the present, between the tales of horror and the allure of its charm. Transylvania, a land where myths live on, history speaks volumes, and the charm of the present weaves an irresistible allure. The enigma, indeed, continues.